In this video, I will be explaining the hoop stresses and in the next video, I will run through longitudinal stresses due to the limited time. So, initially, we have this pipe here with a thickness E and the radius R. This is very exaggerated, okay? So, a pipe open at its end experiences hoop stresses only. Okay, so this pipe, we should know that this section here and that section there are hollow. So the only thing that it experiences are hoop stresses. Okay? So before we analyze hoop stresses, we need to make a few assumptions. We need to have a thin pipe to make sure that the hoop stresses act. So by a thin pipe, I mean a small thickness. And this is to ensure that the hoop stresses are acting uniformly across the thicknesses. Okay? Another thing that is important is to know that the pipe is long, so the effects of bends are neglected, so um, in reality pipes have bends everywhere, but in this case we're just going to assume it's one long straight pipe and just neglect any bends. Okay, Pressure is constant and acts perpendicular to the surface, this is extremely important to know, and friction is neglected. Now. So, uh, by friction, it's between the fluid and the pipe. Having all these assumptions narrows down the ideas of hoop stresses. So, if we look at the cross section, okay, we can see that the pressure is uniform and it's acting perpendicular to the surface, okay, and this. Re and